Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Landmine with another review. Well, since I'm not completely for uh, Transformers, I do collect other things, I decided might as well do a review on this character that I just picked up. It's a DC Unlimited uh, Dragon Age Series 1 collector's action figure. And the game itself is from Bioware and EA. And if you're a fan of Mass Effect, you should give this a try. If you're a fan of KOTOR, give this a try. I mean, after all, Bioware made it. But anyway, it, this is a game that the biggest reason I bought it was so I can get the code for the Mass Effect Blood Dragon Armor. And gave it a shot anyway. And, well, it's now a lot more up there than Mass Effect. It's an RPG, but the thing I hate about RPGs is when you, if you've ever played some of them, you end up with these random encounters where if you're low in health or you're trying to get somewhere, it annoys me. Well, it annoys, it annoys me. I don't know if it annoys you, but that's if you like it. Dragon Age was actually pretty good. This Tuesday, Dragon Age is 2 coming out. If you haven't played it, download the demo. That's all I can say. It is an amazing game. It's a lot prettier. But speaking of pretty, let's get to the person I'm reviewing. Or at least the figure. And does she have a figure? This is Morgan for those who haven't played the game. Morgan's the up apostate witch mage that accompanies you. Her mother, Flemeth, who happens to also be in the second one, second Dragon Age. Focus. This thing's having trouble focusing. Don't have a tripod, so I hope... Sorry for the shaky camera. Let's see if I can get it to focus manually. Come on, focus. Anyway, as you can see, her only accessory is this staff. And kind of the skirt. I have some issues with the skirt, but I'll get to that later. She is amazingly detailed. Here, turn her like this. And even in the game, she has her ample bosom. But there is some this one, I mean, Hasbro, you can like learn a lot from this. I mean, look at some of the detail. A little shading here and there. A little weathered look. Belt buckles. Even pants. Who knew she wore those? Anyway. The only thing I don't like about this figure, it doesn't come with a stand like my other one. No hole in the bottom of the foot to hold it up. But she does have some amazing detail. I mean, look at those eyes. Makeup. She's got a staff here that's got some amazing detail on it. Though I've seen a lot of staffs in the game, I can't say I've seen this particular one. Put your arm down there. I mean, even her fingernails are good. DC Direct is amazing. People. Only thing I don't like is she's got some joints similar to Batman. I'll bring him in just so I can kind of show you. But the problem is this skirt. I guess I can probably turn it around, but she ends up kind of hip out type of stance. Unless you put it all the way up, but you can hide that midriff. That, well, she's even got a belly button. Trying to do this with one hand. Her articulation, her articulation, her elbows do are on a bullet joint, so you can go out here. 160, elbow joint, hands rotate. Same for this arm. Hits on a ball joint, so you can get her kind of looking. She's got 
the hinge of the knee, hinge of the ankle, so she can get some pretty fair aim. This would be a lot better if I can get a tripod for this, but anyway. If anyone knows of a good tripod that I can use with a Windows phone that doesn't have any of the connections like a standard camera, put your arm down with here, let me know. But anyway, I'll try to get her to stand. Size comparison. There she is with Batman. Which, Tobonimus was doing some Batman reviews, and I think this is probably about close to it. I, don't, I haven't got my hands on it. But it's got the same base he was talking about. A little more detail than what he's got. And if, I just kind of wish there's a way to put her on there, because that would help her stand. I don't know if this is a feature that comes with all of them or not. These are only two character figures I've got from DC Unlimited, but you know, you Batman go over there. It's about her. And the really cool thing is, and I may have to go back to get to Hastings where I bought this for twenty-two bucks. Is the other figures, Genlock, Duncan which I may have to go get back and get him. And the bad guy that you can actually recruit, uh, Logan. And if you're not into Dragon Age, but maybe you like Mass Effect, I have yet to see these figures, and every time I look at Big Bad Pet Toy Store, they're always in pre-order. I would love to get her, because if this is an indication... She is definitely a bike. Now you just got to figure a way to hold her. And I'm willing to bet there's at least a figure stand or two that I can probably put on her. But, for now, this is Landmine, a.k.a. Tim, and Morgan. Oh, just for the hell of the size comparison. Anyway, this is Landmine. Get the transformer out. Showing off one of my new extras acquisitions. And I'll catch you later.